In this video, I want to do a couple more word problems dealing with graphs of lines. So here we have a gym is offering a deal to new members. Customers can sign up by paying a registration fee of $200. So they pay $200. And then a monthly fee of $39. $39 per month. This is registration. Registration. How much will this membership cost a member by the end of the year? So let's figure out an equation that determines how much total we will pay. So what we pay, so let's p is equal to the amount that we're going to pay in total for our membership. So no matter how many months we use the gym, just to start using the gym, we have to pay $200 in registration. So we're going to have to pay $200. I'll just write everything we'll assume is in dollars. So I'll write $200. And then we're going to have to pay $39 for every month we're there. So then we're going to take the number of months we're there and multiply that times 39. Notice, if we stay there one month, we'll have to pay one month times $39. And we would have already paid the $200 registration fee. So it'll be $239. If we stay two months, we pay the $200 registration fee. And then we pay 39 times two months, which is what, like 78 or something. So it'd be $278. So just to tie this all together with linear equations and graphs of them, let's graph this relation. And remember, the graph of a line can be y is equal to mx plus b. That's one of the forms. So to put this line in this form, or this equation in this form, we can just rearrange the 39m and the 200. And you get p, p is equal to 39m plus 200. So what's the slope and what's the y-intercept? And you might get confused and say, hey, there's an x there uh, and a y, but now you're doing it with p's and m's. Just remember, this is the independent variable that is independent, independent, independent. And this is the dependent variable. Here, this is the independent variable. How many months? You pick a number of months, and I'll tell you what the total cost of your membership is going to be. So it's the same thing. This is like the x right there, and this is like the y, just like that. And so just using our pattern match, this right here is the, we could say it's the vertical intercept or the p intercept, or the, well, you know, I'm tempted to call it the y intercept, but we're really intersecting the p axis instead of the y axis there. And this right here is our slope. So let's graph this function. And I won't do it too accurately. I just want to do a hand drawn graph just to give you an idea. We could just stay in the first quadrant. We're not going to stay negative months. And the gym is never going to pay us money. So right off the bat, we're going to have to pay the gym $200. We're going to have to pay the gym $200, just like that. $200 for zero months. Then for every month, we're going to have to spend an extra $39. So the slope is 39. So that's, let's say this is one month right there. That's This is in months. This is months, and then this axis is price, the p axis. So this is, as I said, this is like the p intercept or the y intercept. So after one month, how much are we going to have to pay? Well, our slope is 39. So if we move one month forward, we're going to go up by 39. So this will right here, that will be 239. And if we go another month, if we go another month, it'll be 278. This is kind of a weird labeling of an axis, but I think you get the idea. So the graph of how much it'll cost us per month will look something it will look something like this. And so they say how much will a membership cost by the end of the year? 12 months. So we would have to go two, three, all the way out to 12 months, which might be here. So our graph is going to be out here someplace. But we could just figure it out algebraically. At the end of the year, we will m will be equal to 12. When m is equal to 12, how much is our membership? The price of our membership is going to be our $200 membership fee plus 39 times the number of months, times 12. And what's 39 times 12? 39 times 12. 2 times 9 is, seven, is 18. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 70. I have a 0. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 3, we want to ignore this. 1 times 3 is 3. So we have 8. 7 plus 9 is 16. 1 plus 3 is 4. So this right here, so the price of our membership is 200 plus 39 times 12, which is $468. So it's equal to $668 
at the end of our year. So if you went all the way out to 12, you'd have to plot 668 someplace here on our line if we just kept going out there. Let's do one more of these. Bobby and Petra are running a lemonade stand, and they charge 45 cents for each glass of lemonade. 45 cents per glass. 45 cents per glass of lemonade. In order to break even, they must make $25. They must make $25. How many glasses of lemonade must they sell to break even? So let's, let's well, let me just do it with y and x. y is equal to the amount they make, amount they make, and they, not max, the amount they make. And let x is equal to the number of glasses they sell. They sell. So what is y is a function of x? So y is equal to, well, for every glass they sell, they get 45 cents. So it's equal to 45 cents times the number of glasses, right? And there's not any kind of like minimum fee that they need to charge, or they don't say any kind of minimum cost that they have to spend to run this place. So how much, in order to break even for each glass of lemonade? They need to make $25. So in order to make break even, they must make $25. So how many glasses of lemonade do they need to sell? So they, this thing needs y needs to be equal to $25. So how many glasses do they need to sell? Well, you just set this equation. You say 0 0.05, sorry, 0 0.04 or 0 0.45x has to be equal to 25 has to be equal to 25. We can divide both sides by 0 0.45. 0 0.45. 0 0.45. On the left-hand side, you're just left with an x. You get x is equal to what is 25? What is 25 divided by 0.45 is equal to? So at 50, they, they would have to sell exactly 55.55 glasses, or 5.6 if I round. So 55.5 repeating glasses. But you can't sell half a glass. We're assuming you can't have, sell half a glass. So the answer to that, they must sell 56 glasses. Because you can't sell half a glass, I'm assuming. So they need to sell 56 glasses to break even. And just to graph this. Once again, we'll hang out in the first quadrant, because everything is going to be positive. Every glass, they make 45 cents. So let's say that they sell, so this is the number of glasses, x. This is how much they make. Let me go by, let me go by increments of, oh, I don't know. Let me go by increments of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Actually, I need to go by even larger increments to get to the point that we're talking about. Let me go by increments of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's the number of glasses. And when they sell 0 glasses, they make $0. That's their y-intercept. It's at y is equal to 0. Then when they sell 10 glasses, they make $4.50. So this is 450. This is 9. Actually, let me just do it like this. Let me just let me just mark only the only the nine dollar the multiples of nine. So let's say nine, eighteen, twenty seven, thirty five. And when they sell ten glasses, they're gonna make four dollars fifty, ten times point four five, so that's right there. Twenty glasses are gonna make nine dollars. Uh, we could keep going there. 40 glasses are going to make $18. You see their slope. When you move 10, you're going to have to go up 450. So this graph is going to look something like that. should be a straight line. And then if you want to see their break even, their break even has to be $25, which is right, which is right about here, $25. Their break even is $25 right around there. Let me do it a little bit. Let me draw the line a little bit better than that. So the line is going to look like this. And at the break even is $25. Be right there. You see that they have to sell about 
56 glasses. And obviously, the way I drew this isn't a super neatly drawn graph, but hopefully, it gives you the general idea.